if there's anything multinational corporations hate, it's uh, competition, which is why they keep trying to crush it. Uh, in fact, uh, one of the ways that they're trying to do so is to prevent two antitrust bills from being introduced into the Senate. So now, right now, uh, Republicans are in the midst of a uh, of being uh, re showered in donations by business groups. One business group even went and sent a letter to top House and Senate Republicans. So now, the Competitiveness Coalition last week sent a letter. Now think about that for a second. The name, Competitiveness Coalition. You know, of course, they're going to be in favor of anything that stops real competitiveness. They're against antitrust bills, and they call themselves the Competitiveness Coalition. It's, it's hilarious. Now, they issued this letter, and they said this. Um, the American Innovation uh, and Online, uh, I'm sorry, the American Innovation and Choice Online Act and the Open Ma uh, Markets Act are something that Republicans should vote against. The legislation, um, you know, let me explain it for a second. The bills, for one, uh, seek to prevent large tech companies from abusing their market power to harm competition. Online businesses and consumers and authorizes the FTC, the Department of Justice and state attorneys general to challenge self-preferencing by online pa uh, platforms of a certain size as defined in terms of annual sales, market cap or active users. So now Apple is a big uh, one of the biggest companies that would be impacted by this. Their Apple store, they take like 30 percent. So any anyone who puts something in the Apple store and sells it. Automatically, Apple gets 30% of that cut. So, and they can only, they can also put forward their own products, their own apps ahead of everyone else in their app store. So they've got basically what is a digital monopoly. It's insane. Amazon is another company that would be uh, impacted by this. For example, on that, uh, Amazon, of course, features other sellers. So the law, if it was passed, would allow agencies to sue if a platform is shown to prefer its own products. For example, Amazon, which has its own line of batteries over competing products sold on its site. So what they do is that they, of course, when they do self-preferential uh, preferential treatment, is to put their own products in their own from their own store above everyone else's. So you can see that how, how that would disadvantage smaller sellers who also are forced to sell on Amazon because it's one of the few in these digital monopolies ways of getting out your product. Uh, it would disadvantage them over Amazon and their own in-store or uh, in-brand products. So you see how they, uh, you know, are crushing competition. These bills would actively try to stop them from crushing that competition. Google also would be impacted by this because, of course, you have the Google search results and uh, Google likes to put itself over all other search results and other, uh, you know, search aggregators. So now these are, again, the companies that are being impacted. Uh, which is why these lobbying groups representing these companies are out there spending millions of dollars pushing Congress to tank the bill or to stall it. So I talked about this before, uh, several different segments where Chuck Schumer could introduce the bill, and so far he has not. And by the way, it's bipartisan. So you have both Republicans and Democrats that are saying, yeah, this is bad. Uh, we would like to have some competition. We would like for these big tech companies to not be able to do self-preferential treatment. We would like to actually open it up for smaller people, you know, to do a little competition, which is actually also good for the consumers. That said, the Competitiveness Coalition doesn't agree. They said, in light of our troubled economy, we request that you whip a no vote. Should current Democratic leadership attempt a full Senate vote? In the House, we similarly request that you resist any attempts to conflate concerns about content moderation with so-called antitrust regulation. 
Now, the two bills, uh, they said, are considered the crown jewels of the antitrust agenda, championed by the left's most strident antitrust activists or advocates, including Senators Amy Klobuchar and Richard Blumenthal. They further advise that Republicans oppose the pieces of legislation because they would, in their words, ignore the economic concerns of the country, exacerbate inflation, which even Democratic economists such as Larry Summers have highlighted about these bills. We tell you, nobody should listen to Larry. And then also they put in, weirdly, it would reward Klobuchar's political ambitions. And that would be a reason to oppose it. We don't want Amy Klobuchar passing something that would be good for consumers because that would reward her. They conclude by writing the results of the elections have created opportunities and obligations for the next Congress. Atop that list is addressing the economic uncertainty coursing throughout our country. Yeah, you, you know why we have such high inflation, by the way? Corporate greed. You have corporations that are price gouging people and making massive amounts of profit. Companies that uh, this group happens to represent. So, by the way, a lot of them get away with it because they're doing that, they're the only game in town. And so they can easily do when they're monopolies price collusion, set their prices uh, in a way that are high. And then, of course, other companies that are in the, you know, uh, the, the other monopolies, they'll set the prices high as well because there's no competition. There's no real competition that will, um, that will challenge them at all. But they continue. Asked which issue matter most this year, nearly a third of voters said inflation, 32%, according to NBC News exit polls, ensuring that neither S2992 or S2710 becomes law would be two productive steps towards fulfilling their mandate. They're pretending that voters are in favor of less competition. And they're claiming inflation? Ridiculous. No, reigning companies like uh, Amazon, Apple, and Google would be good for the uh, economy. It would actually help, again, increase competition, which will drive down prices. These are flat-out lies from groups that represent big corporations. Again, the bills will actually help small app developers and sellers on those platforms. And they would also break the power of these big tech companies and allow this competition. So the question, of course, is why hasn't it gotten through Congress? Well, again, I just noted that there is been a massive amount of lobbying. And really, at this point, you also have Chuck Schumer, who continues to promise, I'll bring it up to a vote, I'll bring it up to a vote, and then never does. Because he has also corporate interests. Thing is, now what these companies are doing is they're reaching out to Republicans, and they're saying, look, if Schumer gets pressured enough, because there has been a pressure campaign on Chuck Schumer, you know, to uh, get him to introduce this while there is still bipartisan support. They're saying, Republicans, tank it, please. We are very, very scared. We are very concerned that, you know, we are not going to be able to uh, uh, tank this antitrust legislation. Please help us. We'll give you whatever you want. And we'll lie about it. <laughs> so, as I said, um, they also are saying, look, you don't even have to tank it. Just make sure that it doesn't come up for a vote. Because we know that in the next Congress, when Republicans take the House, there is absolutely no chance this is getting through. So all you have to do is either tank it if it comes up for a vote, or, you know, we're going to uh, try to run out the clock. And that way, we win and you win because we're going to continue patting your pockets. So, look, as I said, um, there's not a lot of time here. With it still being bipartisan, and with them increasing their lobbying, there is a chance that it can 
pass. But the ball is in Chuck Schumer's court. Look, even the Biden White House has listed the bills on their lame duck priority list and hinted at stepping up engagement on it. While we have yet to see that engagement, at least in public, maybe behind the scenes, they're trying to whip Schumer. But again, we have not seen action. So that said, maybe there needs to be, I don't know, uh, a more of a public push to try to push Schumer to introduce it before time runs out. Again, Chuck Schumer would probably be more than happy to, you know, ignore the bill and let the lame duck session run out. We should not let that happen. Even if it doesn't do anything, we can at least make our voice heard to say that, hey, we put it out there. We put it out there. Um, and so if you want to do that, go to bidenpromised.us. It takes you like five seconds to fill out. Again, it might not do anything. You might not listen to it. At least it'll be there. And again, it takes almost no time to fill out. Half, like five seconds, 10 seconds at most. So do it anyway. What's, what's it going to cost you? Nothing. Bidenpromise.us. Make your voice heard at least.